There are many tractors in the game, and it can be very challenging to figure out what tractor is going to be best for your farm. It's also important to note that on PC and console, both can have issues if you have too many tractors on a map. So what you want to do is you want to find a tractor that can do everything. And then either you can have just one of those tractors, or you could buy multiples of the same tractor because that won't affect your slot count or your PC as much. So I have selected my top four do everything tractors. And the important part about these is they all have three point hitches on front and rear, We've got PTOs on front and rear. They all can have a front loader and they all have awesome power ratings. So I wanna take a minute and talk about all four of these. The first one is the Case Magnum uh, 340 series. This is a mod that recently came out. This thing can have up to 866 horsepower. Let's take a look at the configuration real quick. Now the package comes with all three of these things. It comes with a front loader, a weight, and the tractor itself. So let's look at the tractor. We can select from 391 horsepower, 435, 553, 723, or 886 horsepower. We have all the wheel brands that you're used to. We have variants that include tracks, or duels, or single wheels with weights. Have a US design for these, uh, these hazard parts here, or we can have them as the European style. You can have a three point in the front, or you can put a weight on there. So you can switch that as needed. And you can have the front loader, or you can have it off. Color Gambit, it's pretty fantastic. You've got a lot of different colors. It is important to note that whatever color you pick, even if it is a shiny color, it's going to come across looking flat, just in the way that this is styled. But it's still fantastic looking. You can even change the color of the seat and the interior and the rims. And the rims will have that, that shine to them. And obviously, you can put a license plate on it as well. Fantastic model, very powerful. As I said, it also comes with this front loader, which what's unique about this front loader is you can pick between the front loader mount, the wheel loader, telehandler, and back to the front loader. Same selection in colors for both the design and the main frame part. So if you wanted to, you could put telehandler attachments on, side, on this tractor. The next one we have here is the John Deere 4755. This medium sized tractor has, uh, starts at $93,000 and goes up to 890 horsepower. Comes with a universal bucket in the mod pack that can go to unreal quantities, as well as a front loader that has color options. So let's look at this first. Uh, you start out with the base 190 horsepower go up to uh, 890 horsepower in an Unreal variant for 93 miles per hour, or an Unreal 2 that does 890 horsepower at 46 miles per hour. With the wheels, you do have all of the brands, but what's unique about them is they've added this ridiculously wide pulling tractor style setup. You can also do twins, and on some of these, you can do, if I can find it, you can do triples once I find them. You can do crawler tracks, crawler tracks on the front. There it is. Do triples if you want to. Beacon design up top. You can do an orange beacon, uh, the white beacon, tall orange beacon, shorter, shorter, or a no beacon. I personally like this one. You can change the window tint from standard to dark. You can have two different styles of exhaust. We notice right now it's coming out the hood. You can have the standard where it comes up the side. You can put fenders. Uh, you can either have really wide fenders or narrow fenders, or you can have none at all. You can have lights up top or no lights. You can have a three point hitch or you can not have a three point hitch. And you have the option for the front loader. And this also has the, if you're using precision farming, it can have the, uh, basically the, the nitrogen scout that you put on it. Colors are fantastic. 
Um, you can switch out. Let's go with actually the hub is the center part of the wheels there. Let me just make that a different color so you can see what I mean. You can set the base color to anything in here, including the chrome color there. We can make it copper. Rim color, same deal. Make it look like that. Put the yellow. And you can put a license plate on it. Now the front loader uh, has the same colors, which is fantastic. The design, as you can see there, is that top piece. And the universal bucket comes in a standard capacity of 1,000 liters or 20,000 Unreal. Next one that we have is from the class pack. This 960 version here, uh, it also comes with a front loader. 960, you can set it between a starting point of 325 horsepower for the 920. Go all the way up to the 960. Get the same wheel options as the base model. You have the beacons, warning signs. Big difference here over the base game 960 is that you can have a front loader on it, which is fantastic for a large tractor. Same deal, you can have the uh, Pro Compact and you can set it to any of the colors here. So we can make it orange, black rims if we wanted to. We can switch up the colors here on the front loader if we wanted to as well. Now, if you are, those three are all crossplay. They will work on PC and console. If you are on PC, you can get the extreme variant of this model. So it's the exact same thing. The only difference is this comes with 960 horsepower. Not, you can't change it. This is 960, 900 horsepower. These two class packs come with additional class uh, vehicles as well. So you can get all the different uh, sizes that you want to. You can get small tractors, medium tractors, large tractors. So again, this is a direct match to the one we just looked at. The only difference is it's got 960 horsepower, which is just fantastic. And that's really it. I just wanted to talk through that these are my four favorite. These are the ones that I use uh, on pretty much every map that I play with because I only need one tractor and I won't need to purchase a bunch of different styles. I can just keep this one tractor with me. Currently, I do have to give a special shout out. The John Deere has been my absolute favorite simply because of the price um, and because of the speed and performance that it comes with. Plus, I think it looks insane with these wheels. Hopefully this was helpful. If it was, please drop a like, subscribe to the channel, more great content coming. Um, and I hope you have a great day. Thank you.